Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. Today, we're tackling a specific issue that many of you have asked about. How to fix Face ID after enabling Apple intelligence on an unsupported iPhone or iPad using Nuggets. If your Face ID has stopped working after enabling Apple intelligence, don't worry. I've got you covered. Let's jump right into it. So, after enabling Apple intelligence with Nuggets, which is an amazing feature by the way, some users with unsupported devices notice that their Face ID has stopped working. This is actually due to some compatibility issues that can pop up on certain devices after this tweak. I will share two different methods to fix this issue. Let's start with the first one. Now connect your iOS device with your PC and open Nugget Tool, then click on Eligibility. Now hit on Enable Apple Intelligence plus Enable Eligibility and Experimental Toggle and leave the spoof device model to None. Then hit on Apply and now select Choose Gestalt File, and then select the mobile Gestalt file of your device. Try to use the same mobile Gestalt file you got it when you was installing Apple Intelligence. Now simply hit Apply Changes, and then your iOS device will restart. After restart, now you will see that your Face ID will start working on your iOS device, and now you can enable Apple Intelligence again. But if this method still did not help you out, then you can try the second method. For the second method, first you need to open this Nugget Mobile GitHub page and then download Nugget Mobile IPA file on your PC. Then you need to download Jitterbug pair file as well from the same Nugget Mobile GitHub page. Now first you need to install Nugget Mobile IPA file in your iOS device. You can use different methods to install it. I will use Sideloadly to install Nugget Mobile IPA file in my iOS device. Open Sideloadly, connect your device to the PC, then hit on IPA, and then select the Nugget Mobile IPA file, and then hit Start. This will install Nugget Mobile IPA file in your iOS device. Now open the Jitterbug pair folder we have downloaded from the Nugget Mobile GitHub page. Now write CMD in the Jitterbug pair path folder and hit enter. Now write Jitterbug pair.exe and hit enter. Then hit trust on your iOS device and then write again the same command and hit enter again. If you get any errors just simply reconnect your device again and then do the same steps again. Once you see the success message in command prompt, now simply go back to Jitterbug pair folder, and then you will see mobile device pairing file. Simply send that file to your iOS device via AirDrop, email, or any other method. Now let's go to your iOS device and fix the Face ID with Nugget mobile app. First open Settings, General, VPN, and Device Management. Then simply hit Trust on your Apple ID, too. Let Nugget app work in your iOS device. Then go back in settings and then open privacy and security and scroll down. Then hit on developer mode and turn it on and then restart your device. After restart you will see the Nugget mobile app will start working. Now we need the pairing file we created on our PC to add it in Nugget mobile app in our iOS device. Simply hit on select pairing file in Nugget mobile app and then simply select your pairing file. Now we can use Nugget Mobile App, but first we need to download WireGuard app from the App Store to enable tweaks from Nugget Mobile App. Once the WireGuard app is installed, now simply open Nugget Mobile GitHub page on your iOS device. 
Then scroll down, and then hit on Side Stores config file, and then hit download to download the Side Stores config file on your iOS device. Now open the WireGuard app, and then hit on plus sign, and then hit on create from file or archive, and then select your Side Stores config file. Then hit allow, and then add your password. Now simply enable Side Store. Now simply open the Nugget mobile app on your iOS device. Then hit on the tools, and then hit on eligibility. Now first hit on modify, and then enable Apple intelligence. Make sure not to enable spoof device model. Then go back and hit on home, and now simply hit on apply tweaks. Then hit OK. Then once the setup will completed then your device will restart. And that's it. Those are a few methods you can try to fix Face ID after enabling Apple intelligence on an unsupported device. I hope this helps you get your Face ID back up and running without sacrificing any of those awesome features from Nuggets. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more iOS tips and tutorials. And let me know in the comments if you have any other issues or questions. I'd love to help out. See you in the next video.